Hello everybody and welcome this is Common Camp. In today's video we are going to be ranking every lockdown design from worst to best. And who better to join me than Dr. Lockdown himself. Oh no, where am I? Ah! So hang on a bit, let me just get this right. Are you two like brothers or cousins or something? Nah, I came up with a name randomly while running on a treadmill. Well I was going to say that you would have been the favourite child. So I'm going to assume that Lockdown is one of your favourite characters. Uh, no, Death's Head is, but uh, pretty close because Lockdown is essentially Hasbro's attempt at getting a license-free version of Death's Head. Well, you know what we've got to do next. <laughs> now, despite Lockdown debuting in 2008 in Transformers Animated, he's been given a fair amount of good designs. And some of these are going to be really interesting to look at. Now let's get through all the tier names. First up, we've got a quote from Transformers Animated. Bounty Hunter seems so formal. We're business partners now. You can call me Lockdown. Basically, the best Lockdown. Next up, we got a quote from Age of Extinction. What is that? That's my asset. Now we got one of my favorite quotes in Age of Extinction. I also have a saying. I don't care. Where we kind of like it, but then we don't at the same time. Next up, we've got the second to worst tier. Now that was just sad. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the worst lockdown. And for this one, I thought I'd do a combination of quotes. You see my face, your life is done. <laughs> Never is here. First up, we've got Transformers Animated Lockdown. This is where it all began. A brand new original character. I mean, heck, it's not G1 this time. It's actually refreshing to kind of say that. And what can I say? It's Derek Joe White's art. This is amazing. It's just such a unique design, and I love how it's been interpreted so differently. Hmm. I, uh, I, a bit, I'm a bit split on this design. It's literally your design. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, but here's the thing. The bottom legs have always been fantastic. It's the top leg, it's the top half that have been has been kind of weird because a lot of the car parts just don't do much in the top half of it. You don't see a lot of vehicle kibble in the top half. It is a really unique and crazy and wacky design that Derek J. White has done a great job on. I just feel as a transformer itself, it could be a lot better. Like, you see animated Optimus Prime. Hey, you got the truck, you got the truck chest and the wheels by the side. Great. I feel this is a bit one of the weaker animated designs. Character wise, is great. Design wise, I'm gonna be crucified for saying this, but it could be a bit better, so I'm probably gonna put it in the second tier. Wow, we're off to a flying start. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I can't believe it, we're in the first design in and we're already butting heads incredibly. This is amazing, this is exactly what I want. I will say though, I am gonna do it. I am gonna put it in top 10. Why would you do that? No! If you allow me to have this one in the toppest tier, we could be fair on your judgment on everyone that comes after. Okay, okay. I just don't want you to get crucified, man. I'm trying to save your life here. I mean, you're putting me in a corner. I get crucified every single video I do. It's something I got a thick skin for. <laughs> okay, okay, how about this one then? You got that one? Okay, sure. But then what about this one? I'm pretty sure Blazing Lockdown isn't up, it up to your standard theory, right? I mean, it's not for me. Okay, that actually does look kind of cool. Oh, God. <laughs> it could probably use a bit more yellow on the top. Again, it's the same thing as the regular animated Lockdown. Thank you! I'm sorry, okay? I have to try and protect ourselves from the angry mob. <laughs> <laughs> Please send all complaints to the Dr. Lockdown Twitter account. Do not harass this beautiful man here. Let me take it. If I see any angry <laughs> comments in these ones, I'm going to go to your house and eat your socks. Uh, that, that was issued as a threat. Anyway, next up we've got Bandit Lockdown. I only picked this because out of all the other Lockdown variants of Animated, this was like, just different. I, 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 don't, I don't really like it. I'm blue, but a dee da da da. I just don't care. Middle tier, but a dee da da da. <laughs> All right, next up we got stealth lockdown. Now this thing is, I don't know why it exists, but it does. It exists because people seem to love clear plastic figures. Two things though. Clear plastic figures become very brittle over time, which means in most cases they will crumble to dust. 
and also most of them look terrible. So I think we all know what tier this is going to go on. The next one that I think is just sad. Bumper Battlers, Lockdown. I mean, look at this little guy. This is just sad. Why would anyone get this? I don't know. Maybe for a one-year-old, but what one-year-old is going to be in a lockdown anyway? All right, next up, we've got an early concept design of Lockdown, which is something I've actually adored for years. And a part of me always wanted this one. I can understand why Derek upped it up and made his back a bit more straighter, but there's something about this that's actually kind of sad and not as menacing as what we originally got, um, which probably wouldn't have worked well for the character design, but this guy just looks like he doesn't give a shit. And um, I really like that. I like his little claws on the side as well. Yeah, th those claws were a pretty neat little thing there. It's got a very Bayverse kind of style to it. I could easily see this becoming one of the more skeletal Bayverse designs. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Uh, top tier. Looks great. Looks great. I love how we've managed to get each Transformers animated variant in every tier box. Well, there shouldn't be anything in the top tier box, but in my opinion... Shut is up, shut up. This is from the Transformers Adventure, which was the Japanese subline for Transformers Robots in Disguise for 2015. Because one thing I do like that is pretty neat is the Decepticon insignia in the front, even though it's a little bit too on the nose. I still think it's pretty cool, and just the subtle green works for me. Black and purple's supposed to be sexy, and this is just... Eh, the car mode, yeah, the green's nice on the car mode, but I could use a lot more of the green. Eh, I don't really care. Alright, next up we got an adorable little one. We have Shattered Glass locked down. Look at this little guy. Oh, 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 oh that is so... Oh, that's gotta go at the top there. Oh, that's adorable. Next up we've got Earth Wars locked down. Now this... Okay. This is a little bit of a weird one. He looks like a pirate. Okay, I'm just gonna say, he looks like a pirate to me, which is not a bad thing. I actually really like the alt mode because it's very spiky and very front facing. So it looks like it's very aerodynamic. Something previous lockdowns haven't been. Previous lockdowns have been very muscle car based and it's about being mean and not aerodynamic. Whereas this is pretty aerodynamic. Robot mode. Yeah, the thing that's not really doing it for me is the chest. It's just flat. Like, you couldn't have done something cooler there? Middle tier, I guess? Or maybe second tier, I don't know. One of the two. Alright, next up we've got one of my absolute favourite lockdown designs. We have the Revenge of the Fallen lockdown. This would be a design that would be used in the IDW comics as well. I, I remember Lewis, my mate, having a toy of this, and I remember playing with this so much. And to this day, I'm trying my best to find it again where it's not at a ridiculous price. Man, it is such a cool design. Just everything about this is so good. They tighten up the torso so it's nice and unique and incorporates the car kibble. You still get the great legs. The car mode is essentially flat out the animated one, but meaner. The gimmicks on this thing are awesome. The arm kibble is awesome. Just the shoulder kibble is awesome. The head is awesome. It's got loads of articulation. That thing should be at the top of the tier. Like, move it in front of everything else. Oh yeah, I think this is definitely up there as one of my favorite designs of all time. I put it way before you started talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one is a bit of an obscure one. This is from the Nefarious comic, and this is how he originally looked in the movies. This thing is disgusting, but this was listed on the TF Wikia, so it must be real. I don't know the context for this, so I'm hesitant to judge it so harshly. Yeah, even as far as Bayverse designs go, that is just... Oh no. Oh no. Alright, now we're going to be talking about the Age of Extinction lockdown. But before we get into the main lockdown, let's talk about some early concept designs. Some ideas on how he could have looked in the film. Now we have the first initial concept design, which is kind of more attuned to how he would turn out. This one for me is... Uh, I mean, it's cool, it's nice, but he looks a bit too worn down and not that menacing feel that we were going for in the movie. And the gun is interesting, like he's actually holding it instead of it becoming his face. But still, nonetheless, it's a bit too skinny for me, but I like the face, it's alright, but it's a bit too more of a battle damage kind of lockdown. But that doesn't look like a Transformer. There's, there's no car bits. It's just... It's not. It's just not it's not a transformer at all like yeah same with the next one where are the car bits i i don't see how this can transform into a car without the transformium cube wibbly wibbly nonsense that they had and um, which is terrible and should never be used again like no this, this is sad 
All right, next up we have another early concept art of Lockdown, an artist that I really do like from Ken Christensen, and this was his take on Lockdown, and I gotta say, a very different kind of style, and that's one thing I appreciate for. I think it's a little bit too thin, and it's not... It's a bit too exoskeleton-like for me. Out of this whole design, I like the vehicle mode the most, but the vehicle mode doesn't look like it actually transforms into the robot mode. There's some parts missing, so it's like, eh, I don't know how to feel. I'm kind of torn. I, just, I think it's a cool design. I just I just don't really picture it as a big baddie for a fourth movie, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. I'm thinking it more as I'm seeing it more as a malnourished star scream than an actual lockdown. I appreciate they've got some vehicle kibble, but it just doesn't look like it transforms again. It's nice, but I don't really care. Now we finally have our main guy, Age of Extinction Lockdown. And you know, I think this is actually a good design. This is such a badass design, especially in the movie, the way how it's been animated. It just looks superb. It's definitely more humanoid than I would have liked. It's very much Terminator-like head, which can help for the movie, but then it kind of breaks the illusion of or the Transformers, you know, I don't like my Transformers looking so humanoid, but I will admit the torso part of this is where I think it truly shines, and then it kind of falls a little bit with the legs. The head I've grown to love, mostly due to the battle visor that he has, I think that suits it a lot better. I love this design. I feel some of the concept art always has the problem of making the head way bigger than it is in the movie, and it just looks weird, but... So, Transformers 3 comes out, and the main Hasbro designer is Aaron Archer. And, consistently, he goes to Paramount and says, No, we cannot make a toy out of this design. Go back and change it. You need to fix this. Which is why the first trilogy has, you know, lots of kibble and lots of cohesive designs. John Warden steps in for the next movie, and he doesn't push Paramount as much. That's why we get a lot more alien designs, because there's not really anyone there saying, no, we can't make a toy out of this. It's just like, eh, we'll figure it out. Also why the Age of Extinction toy line was pretty terrible. This is an S-tier design. It's just absolutely amazing. Top tier for me. We have a Creo Age of Extinction Lockdown. I've just never really liked the Creons. I've been much more of a Lego minifigure fan, but uh, sub objectively, a lot of people like these and it does it okay. We've got a little guy here, but I actually own Turbo Changer Lockdown. I kind of hate it, but now it just kind of just exists. Yeah, I put it in the now that's just sad tier. Tiny Turbo Changers have some great little figures, but that ain't one of them. Next up, we've got Q Transformers. We've got two little guys here, one more faithful to Age of Extinction, and then the other one is that one from that comedy series. I prefer the more cartoony version, uh, the Age of Extinction one, the head, uh, I don't know, I, I don't really like it that much. The heads are hollow from the back, like, they're just completely hollow. Also, compared to the previous versions, the accurate ones, lacking a lot of paint, so while the original lockdown I put in the second tier, the middle one, I would say, that's not, I just do not care. Next up we got a comedy sketch of lockdown, and this is the stuff of nightmares, even he's scared. I No, no, I hate it as well. It looks like Buzz Lightyear yes. trapped inside a uh, metal suit, except he's constipated and scared that he's going to blow at any second. All right, next up we've got Bot Shots locked down, and, um, yep, this exists. Bot Shots are fun. Um, really? They they carry the designs across quite well. They got they got good fate. They got good head sculpts. They're good gimmick toys. Uh, put it in second tier. Uh, they're always good time. You serious? Oh, okay. <laughs> I did make a promise after all. Yeah, you better keep that promise. You better keep it. <laughs> Next up, we got Age of Extinction Constructor Bots Lockdown. This is, I don't know. I don't know how to really feel about this one. This just feels like a copy of Bionicle. It doesn't really feel or inspiring. It's F pass for me. Yeah, uh, these are pretty much Hasbro's attempt at copying Bionicle. Uh, I kept seeing these things shelf warming for months and months. We got the first wave in Australia and then we never got anything else because nobody wanted these. So, yeah, uh, I think it's just sad. Alright, now we have another Constructor Bots. This is the Dinobot Warrior Lockdown. And you know what? The vehicle mode isn't actually that bad. It actually looks kind of alright. What? Are you kidding me? Looks cool! They've got a half dino that's basically got no cohesion. The vehicle mode is a hollow mess. <laughs> They've got the bloody feet at the front like all the construct bots. Okay, okay, I'm talking about the front part. The front part. 
Oh no! I like the structure of the vehicle. The structure of the vehicle reminds me of a Jack and Daxter's a combat race, and it kind of gives me that vibes. But the back of it is a mess, yes. But the front part, I felt like if it was more solid, it's not the worst vehicle mode. Everything else is disgusting, though. Yeah, I do think it is sad. I just want to re-emphasize for everybody, I have not lost to any taste in, in designs. I, I, I still think it's sad, I promise. <laughs> Next up, we've got Cyberverse Lockdown. Now, this is kind of like a combination with Revenge of the Fallen, Transfers Animated. It's kind of got an Earth Wars element as well with the shoulders. I overall like this. Even though the character didn't have anything to do, it's a complete opposite to what you think the character's going to be like. You think he's going to be menacing and all that, but he's actually a bit of a goof. And unfortunately, uh, well, taking that element out of it, this design is solid. And I like the Cyberverse art style. I've watched the show three times and I don't remember seeing him at all. Nah, you're lying. He wasn't in the show. You're totally lying. He was in the show. He was in the show multiple episodes. Nah, I think I would have known. I mean, who's my channel mascot after all? <laughs> he is in it. Honestly, I'm not lying to you. I promise. Hmm. Look, uh, screen. Uh, add in lockdown scenes from Cyberverse. Go. Yeah, well, I'm looking at TF Wiki and the page just says doesn't exist. Right, forget it. We're moving on. All right, next up we've got Iron Factory Lockdown. This is a third party toy. And wow, that vehicle mode is... That is something. And the robot mode as well is... I'm just going to let you go ahead. This is just like wow to me. I didn't even know this existed until this tier list. Iron Factory is, is always known for fantastic sculpt work and fantastic paint work. Now, I could be very... Purely as a design, this is S tier. Purely as a design. Next up, we have Lockdown as a pig. This is Angry Birds. Literally, just a bloke as a pig. You know, this design actually isn't all that bad. What do you think? He's a pig. That is what I think. Can we have a pig tier? <laughs> not even just its own tier, just pig. <laughs> it's not even an insult. It's just literally, that is what he is. Pig. <laughs> Alright, last one we've got is the Doctor Lockdown design itself. Yeah, no, this is bottom tier. Uh, so here's actually how I ended up making that. I cannot draw for shit. Really? What happened was, I took the character <laughs> design for Steins Gate's uh, protagonist, Okabe Rintaro, and I photoshopped the lab coat onto animated lockdown. But in my defense, I am not an artist. I am a shitty YouTuber. The worst YouTuber. So yes, that is why that design belongs in the bottom tier. Hey, there's one thing I have wrong with what you just said. You can draw. <laughs> So there we have it guys, every lockdown design ranked from worst to best. Of course, let me know which is your personal favourite lockdown in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, check out Dr. Lockdown's channel. He does some really good, insightful toy reviews that I think you'll really enjoy. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> and as always, be sure to subscribe, click on that notification bell to get all updates instantly. Which character design do you think I should do next? Until the next video guys, this has been Common Account. And don't forget to read the disclaimer, you bastard!